Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to talk about is iOS 6 enough for the next iPhone? Apple announced a while ago iOS 6 beta. They announced a bunch of new features. Let's run over those really quickly. We have Maps. They've completely replaced Google applications. They've even removed YouTube in the latest beta. You don't see it here. And you just use the browser. Supposedly, Google's going to be making their own app soon as far as that goes. That's a little bit more up to date and hopefully as good as Android's version. They've replaced Maps with Apple's very own version of Maps in in uh, conjunction with TomTom, Tom, and TomTom's providing some turn-by-turn -turn directions. And the maps are really nice. They're pretty fast for the most part. You can see this is actually Sydney, Australia. We're rotating around. We can see the buildings in 3D. And Google has actually kept up with this as well on their own platform, just not really on iOS. But it's a really nice service, and that incorporates the next update, which is Siri. You can use this to, say, navigate to whatever you need to go to, whatever location. And then while you're on the way, you can use Siri to say, find the closest gas station or whatever you're looking for. And the, the directions are nice and clear and concise and show waypoints, uh, traffic and things like that. And it's, they're really nice, but uh, is that enough to keep iOS on top? I'm not quite sure. You now have those Siri can do a couple more things, sports, restaurants, and movies. It's nice, but nothing revolutionary, I don't think. Uh, Google now seems to do some pretty incredible things, and I really like the speed at which it retrieves it. It's quite nice, and the voice and, and the voice recognition is phenomenal on Google now. We also have Facebook integration, which isn't really huge, I don't think. It depends who you ask, I guess, but instead of just tap to tweet, you now have tap to post. We have shared photo streams. I can share a photo stream, which allows me to sync photos across multiple devices, and now I can share those. Uh, nothing huge there. Passbook may be something that's quite the game changer. Passbook is an application that allows you to store your cards, such as your Starbucks card, locally here. When you drive near a Starbucks, it will pop on the screen and, and ask you if you want to use it. If you do, you tap on that, you walk into the store, and you can scan your, your iPhone. It, it does that for boarding passes, tickets, store cards, and coupons. It's yet to be seen if that's really going to be as good as it, as it is, or it's not really a whole lot I can use with it right now. But uh, I look forward to using it, and hopefully it is as good as they, they say it is. I'm not really sure, though. As far as FaceTime goes, they've made that available over cellular. Nothing huge there, but there's some concern with AT&T and them blocking data again. So that's also a concern. You also have some updates to phone where you can reply with a message, remind me later. So when a phone call comes in, you can instead, you've got this little slide screen here for your camera. You can slide when a phone call is coming in and actually it will allow you to send that person directly to voicemail or tell them, send them a text that says, I'll call you later, something like that, or customize your message. Very convenient, but not revolutionary, but I really appreciate that feature. Mail's been updated a little bit. Uh, it's easier to paste messages in. That's a big improvement. Uh, obviously not revolutionary, but it's nice to be able to paste multiple messages, uh, paste multiple photos in your messages. It's, it's quite nice. Safari now syncs across different devices, and there's a lot of really neat accessibility controls that will help a lot of people out as well. Beyond that, there's been some remodeled things such as the iTunes Store and the App Store. I'll show you that real quick. We'll go into movies. You can see here's the latest movies. It looks a little bit different. And you scroll to the side, up, down, into the side. Uh, the app store is also similar to that. We'll go to the featured area. And it's always Sonic the Hedgehog 4, so they're obviously not updating this very often, but it is a beta. And we scroll. You can see it's nice. The icons are a little bit bigger, which does point to the next phone being maybe a little bit bigger. And there's new features for China and a bunch of really back-end things that help people incorporate Siri uh, into their own applications. And that's great, but is it enough to get you to buy the next iPhone? So those are all the features that have been announced, but that doesn't mean there won't be more uh, when it's finally announced, probably in September next month. I'm not sure that this interface is going to be something that people are desiring. It's nice and simple, but it's also dated at this point. It's five years old, and I'm not sure that people are really going to want to use this the same way 
for the next five years from now. So it'd be nice to see them change this up a little bit. And maybe they will when they show the next iPhone. If it is a little bit bigger, maybe they'll, uh, if as some people have found it has another row of app uh, icons and maybe something else, who knows. But it would be neat to see that. Other than that, those are the major features, and those features work well, navigation works well, but there are some really great phones out there now. There's the Galaxy Nexus with Jelly Bean on it, there's the Samsung Galaxy S3, which is also a great phone, and they both have larger screens. That's something I'd really like to see for myself, my own personal use, I'd really like that larger screen. Love the build quality of the iPhone. Uh, some people have issues with the glass. I've never broken the glass. I know people that have broken the back glass, uh, but it is only $29 to replace from Apple. Hopefully you're not doing it a lot, though. And it's not that big of a deal as far as that goes. I don't even have a screen protector on. Uh, I like to use the glass. But I'd love to see what the next iPhone is. Hopefully it's more revolutionary than just what we have here. Maybe there's some hidden secret or feature i'm hoping for but you never know uh, it's going to be hard to say so i'm wondering what you guys think is ios 6 enough to to really be the next version uh, that's revolutionary and compete with android and windows phone 8 uh, with jelly bean windows phone 8 and even the next version of the android key lime pie so it's going to be interesting to see what you have to say i'd love to hear what you have to say down in the comments below if you could place that in there if you're going to stay with ios if you're going to switch to it or switch away from it just curious what you have to say if you haven't subscribed already to this channel please go ahead and subscribe as always thanks for watching this is aaron i'll see you next time